we present the case of a four-year-old child, John, who developed a right-sided limb some days after his fourth birthday. He was he presented to general practitioner as his parents had noticed the child had been limping on his right side for a day. The GP then referred him to the emergency department for an urgent pediatric orthopedic opinion. He received a specialist review within 48 hours of the onset of his limb. There was no history of trauma, nothing of note in his medical history other than recent chorizal symptoms. On examination, the child was afebrile with stable vital signs and appeared to have a full pain-free range of movements at the both hips and both knees. However, he was noted to have an intelligent gait with a limp on his right side. Bloods were taken in ED and revealed a mild raised ESR that is the erythrocyte sedimentation rate of 27 mm per first hour. All other blood tests including full blood count, CRP or C-reactive protein and bone profile were within normal limits. For making a clear diagnosis, plain film, radiographs and uh, anesthetic MRI were performed which showed abnormal results. On the basis of all these symptoms and abnormal Imaging results, the doctor proposed that lug calf perthi disease as the most suitable suspected diagnosis. Now, what type of results do you likely to expect? How will you further move towards the right diagnosis? Is John suffering from leg calf perthi disease? And what type of treatment will be suitable for John? You will be able to answer these questions when you have a complete understanding of leg calf perthi disease. Scardia.com is bringing a complete lecture of more than 40 minutes on leg calf perthes disease along with the short clips for quick learning. You can watch these videos on Scardia.com to solve this case study. Simply go to Scardia.com and subscribe and get a free trial of 2 days.